Hey everybody, I'm here today just to uh, answer some questions because I have not checked my email or um, my YouTube page in a long time. But when I did check my email today to just get rid of some things, I saw some comments for my um, glycolic acid pill that I did, um, I believe, early this year or sometime last year. And I just want to answer some questions. I haven't done it in a long time. Um, I actually haven't been answering questions because I've been sick. Found out that I'm pregnant, so I'm going to go ahead and answer some of these questions. Now, um, I got one that says, how much peeling can be expected and will it be flaking or in big sheets of skin? I believe that it depends on how much you use it. I believe on how um, it depends on how much damage you know has been um, done to the skin. What kind? Like if you have current acne, you know, on your face. Uh, I didn't get like real peeling. It was just a little dry after I had finished, and that's why you have to keep your face constantly moisturized. Now. Uh, Glycolic acid pill is not a TCA pill. TCA pill is when you see pictures of people and their faces are like, it looks charred, you know, and almost burnt. This, this glycolic pill will not do that to your face. It's basically just gonna give it a little, you know, like ashy look for a little while. And as long as you keep your face moisturized, then you'll be fine because you've already neutralized it and this basically slowly working on your skin instead of taking a whole like layer of skin off it's it's doing it slowly so i think it's better that's why i chose to use this instead of the other one and somebody said that my skin is perfect it's definitely not perfect i don't have flawless skin um but using that definitely helped it like I don't have as much of my hyperpigmentation some of my dark spots from acne that I normally try to cover up are gone I only had to use it like twice and I was actually shocked because I never thought I would use anything like that in my life I've never suffered from bad acne but I do have it you know occasionally so uh, yeah, but thank you. I wish it was flawless. <laughs> um, another one, Chan Lily. And I'm sorry for the first question. Um, I didn't say your name. Snelpy. Okay. And this one is Chan Lily. She said, if I start to use it, then just start with 15%. Yes, I would say to start with 15% because I don't think that it would be as intense. And for me, the 30% was a little bit more intense than I would have wanted it to be but I sat there and I still you know <laughs> went ahead through the pain uh, and I could not keep it on my face for 10 minutes yeah um, and it's not a waste no it's not a waste 10 minutes is actually if you could do 10 minutes then you are a trooper because it was burning <laughs> like not unbearable but it was burning um if you can do 15 minutes then, <laughs> then that's excellent but um you don't want to leave it on there for too long you want to do you want to start off with five minutes just to see how your skin is going to react to it um i definitely got little white bumps you know coming up because i'm guessing that it was actually doing what it said it was doing and pulling whatever you know was in my pores out of my pores because regular skin you know facial cleansers don't do that they work mainly on the surface but this goes a little bit deeper into your skin and um for joel laddick you asked me if i use the pill once a month yeah i i like like i said i don't do it anymore but i did use the pill once um a month and it's not too often that if you're trying to do this every week yeah you know, like they actually tell you not to do it every week because you don't want to keep introducing it excuse me <clears throat> 
into your skin too often you don't really need it that often like clearing your skin up and becoming healthy is a gradual process like I really don't want nothing that works overnight because that's a little bit too good to be true so you know basically yeah once a month is fine and for the ones that are a higher percentage yeah you would want to use those even less often than once a month um and let's see why not be happy this wasn't a question but thank you you said my video was very informative and i'm glad that the pill is working for you i use the emu oil too but i also will use olive oil i still use olive oil emu oil and what else do i use vitamin e i use vitamin e on my face too and that will be after I've washed it. I use clean and clear now. Um, and I've been using that. Like I was 17 years old when I started using it. And I had forgotten what I used. Because um, I was actually in a military school when I was 17. And left there. And I just didn't think I needed it anymore. And forgotten until last year. I hadn't used it. And it's the one with the... Um, it's an orange color oh excuse me liquid inside of it with a purple cap thank you and that's pretty much what i use now and moisturize my face if i don't have any evening oil on hand i'll use the olive oil and vitamin e like vitamin e works for your skin but honestly like if you really want to have healthy skin it starts on the inside as well so you can't just say you want to use a glycolic pill you know or any other pill lactic acid tca it's a little harsh that's like for deep scars so if you suffer from acne and you have deep scar tissue that's all that it is like after it has healed to you on the surface it hasn't healed underneath so if you want to use you know things like that then you do have to start eating healthy you need more green vegetables like dark green vegetables if you can eat kale oh my brother makes a kale salad that is out of this world oh my god it's so good um he puts raisins and all kind of other stuff in it and you want to have those in their raw state um i do eat spinach uh I eat romaine lettuce. I'll have iceberg lettuce every once in a while, but it's not quite dark enough. Doesn't mean that it's not good for you, but you have to eat stuff like that. You have to eat fruits, you know, and I noticed that when my diet was the worst, that's when the acne had gotten bad for me. So if you're always eating fast food um, or you like to eat out a lot, remember that unless you're going to something that's like uh vegan vegetarian uh kosher you know then it's still saturated fats because you got to remember that they're cooking for a large group of people and so they're not doing it like little portion home meals that you would uh cook for yourself and that's another thing it's good to start cooking your own foods more often doesn't mean you can't go out go out you know eat but if that's something that you do on a regular and that's not good you have to make meal plans that's a good thing even if you do two weeks worth of meal plans and you just keep recycling that meal plan that's good if you do three weeks and you want to keep recycling it and so forth and so on you can do that but you have to have a good diet you have to have clean foods you know, um, if you like sweet potatoes, eat sweet potatoes. You know, you want to have um, simple and complex carbs. Complex carbs last the longest in your body. We burn off simple carbs, which are the breads and starches that are in our fast food. Now, if you get oatmeal, you know, that's a complex carb. Uh, potatoes is more of a complex carb. So you know doing research and just having a desire to change your self from the inside will help fight against those things that we all are going to experience like acne so 
that's just when I came to um, update my page I'm going to start doing a lot more with this page now um, I may even start a pregnancy vlog or something like that I was considering but um, definitely have to think about your body as a whole and not just trying to you know clear your face up because I know that the face is not the only part of the body that um, people suffer from acne my best friend you know she has it on her back but she drinks she smokes you know she cooks food you know for herself but it's not a good diet all the time not say she doesn't eat anything healthy <clears throat> excuse me but um yeah so many places you can have acne at you know and we don't want to put those things all like glycolic and tca pills all over our body but some people do i'm just not gonna do it but um that's basically all i have for today uh thank you for anybody that's watching this video and i hope that you will come back and i have some more uh informative things to talk about and to bring you and i'm pretty sure i do i just have to write it down so i can remember because my mind has been like all over the place <laughs> but um thank you to all my subscribers i did not know that i had new subscribers so like i said i had checked the page but thank you so much and i will definitely be returning the favor so everybody take care of yourselves and until next time <laughs>